We are finally getting all the bushes, the trees. Stop from here. Grab a saw, hang your line, watch this. That total came out to 1,000. Top of the morning to you folks. Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. Super exciting day today because we are finally getting all the bushes, the trees, and we got some darn good looking stuff on the way. Cannot wait to get this process going. They are on the way right now. We're gonna get everything unloaded as soon as they get there, and then we're gonna transform this yard. We are getting so close to finally being done building this house, which means I am one step closer to finally being able to live in my brand new home. Cannot wait to do that. Cannot wait to get this thing outfitted with all these bushes, trees, and then the sods coming in right after that. So this will all be in one video. We'll get the bushes in, we'll get the trees in, we'll get the sod down. We do have to do a little bit of a final grade with probably one more truck of topsoil. We'll see how that works out, but without further ado, why don't I stop talking, wait for them to show up, we'll get these trees unloaded, and then we'll get straight to work. Oh, oh, yeah. Got some beauties. There. Yes, sir. We're going to transform your, this property. That's your huge tree here that we, you want to get in. Yeah. All right, y'all, so we're getting all these plants unloaded right now. This is going to transform this property. The house looks great. I love the house, but with all these plants, with all this landscaping, it's gonna really, really give this house a pop. We've got mulch coming in. We're gonna get the fabric paper, everything like that. Get this entire process filmed. I'm so excited to get this house finally done. This is the last stage of the exterior. The interior is pretty much done. Got the electrician doing a couple things out here and everything, but we are finishing up. Can't wait to get this landscaping done and then get the saw down as well. So let's keep moving. Let's keep progressing. Progress is key. Alrighty y'all, so we are about to start digging. Um, this should probably take us a couple hours. We're gonna dig, dig, dig. And then of course, like I said, we got the topsoil. So right now I got this to get everything done um, through everything just in case we hit a little bit of clay. We'll add some topsoil in there. And then I got some, I don't know what to call this in English, but in Ukrainian we'll call it a lom, or that's what my dad calls it. But what it is is actually a 300 Sparta. We are Sparta thing, so I'm gonna throw it directly at all there no but this thing is pretty heavy so like when you get into some hard dirt you just do like that and it actually works really really good um i don't want to do it here this is topsoil so it's pretty easy so once you get about six inches down this thing comes in handy can't wait to see all these plants in the ground covered with mulch around them and then getting that fabric down before the mulch and everything like that's going to be amazing really really fun part of the process i love doing landscaping and the sun is shining beautifully so vitamin d for the win good vibes for the win we're going to turn on some music and we're going to get straight to work
Alrighty y'all, so we have finished the entire front part of the house here on the left side and the right side all the way along the edge. We still got one more side to do over there from the entrance of the actual road and we'll probably knock that out within the next hour or two. I've been trying to get some mulch here, like a full truck of it, like a dump truck, um, but the guy who always brings it to his trucks actually broke down or something, so he's trying to figure it out and we'll see. So we actually bought some uh, woven, woven heavy duty fabric right here, so what we'll do is Put that down through here, cut out the plant areas, you kind of put a little cross in it and then just kind of fold them back and then we'll be able to do the mulch and everything like that. I've got my main man Tony right there watering all of the plants, all the bushes and we'll come over here to this side as well and kind of just show you how these look and these two sky pencil or pencil uh, bushes, whatever you call them. So we're gonna put these in some actual pots which will kind of just give them a little bit more height right there which will accent the stone columns right there and then we'll get all this watered as well. I had to run and buy some more what I call monkey grass, um, but they actually have a different name. It's called like uh, Lily Turf Liriope Muscari Super Blue. Um, so I got some of those and then just to show you, come over this way, um, we got this tree in the ground right here. That looks beautiful and that's gonna be nice. Then got some little bitty uh, little flower areas in the background and then of course we got all these um, Otto Luke and Lauren's or however you say that all these plants have crazy like um, What is it Latin Latin names? I think they're all Latin names, but it's crazy um, But they look amazing can't wait to get water on them can't wait to get mulch around here Let's jump on the other side of the house and get straight to work So we got everything planted except this huge maple tree right here, which is beautiful and I can't wait to get that in the ground But we're gonna use the mini X once we get all the rest of the top So we got a lot going on here So we want to do things while we can so we're not in the way of anything and there's cars parked out here and everything like that People working so we're gonna jump in get this fabric installed around all the bushes so that we can finally do the mulch and actually we ran into a huge problem with this mulch right now I've called probably about seven people and everybody's saying there's no black mulch I don't know why they're saying they can't get the black dye or something like that So the people that always bring it to me He's like yo, I can't get it for you and they're not telling me when it's coming So it's an unfortunate situation We're gonna move on to these actual fabric get that done and then probably just move on to getting this sod um, You know get prepped for the sod so we can get that in and then I guess we can just follow up with the mulch after that it Doesn't matter what order we do it in it just looks really good to get that mulch done around the bushes So anyways enough talking Progress is key. Let's get back to work, baby.
Alrighty y'all, so it is hot today, all right? One of the hottest days we've had, and of course we're doing landscape on that day. So we got that black uh, felt paper, fiber paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, we've got it all the way down the side here. We actually ran out. We ran short a little bit on the other side, but we've got everything to where we'll be able to trim it up really good um, to when we need the mulch. So like I said earlier, we don't know when the mulch is coming. They're saying they don't have it. And I literally called like seven people. So again, these actually turned out so freaking beautiful. Can't wait for all this stuff to really mature, which you know, probably next year is when it's really, really gonna look good, especially with all these trees. We still got this one maple tree we need to put in the ground, but I'm gonna do that with the mini X because nobody wants to dig a hole that big. But anyways, I got more topsoil here. We've got this part done as well. We got the side done as well. Um, just need to go buy maybe like another 20 feet, 25 feet of this stuff. Maybe they have a shorter, because um, I bought the 100, the six foot by 100, which turned out really great. Um, we didn't have to cut a ton. We just had to cut out where the bushes were, just put a nice little X in it, and that worked out. Um, and so, yeah, basically we're going to get all the topsoil moved around, get any like hills and everything knocked down, and then we're going to get that. I'm actually going to go with Bermuda. So the side I'm using is Bermuda because it's less maintenance, and it grows, and it looks good, and then it looks like a carpet. And if it's low in spots, all you got to do is add sand. So anyways, very excited to get that done. Going to get all this done in the next couple days. It's gonna be a great landscaping video. So if you don't know how to do landscaping, this is how to do your own landscaping at your brand new house or at your existing house if you wanna do a DIY project at home and kind of spruce up your property. So anyways, enough talking, we'll see you here tomorrow. Alright y'all, so we were going to take off and then we started looking we were like, man, that tree looks amazing. Why don't we just go ahead and get in the ground? So we stayed about an hour later, got some of this graded out a little bit so we can get ready for that sod as we approach that timeline. But anyways, look how beautiful this maple right here looks. Very, very, very excited. And I'll actually look up the name of what kind of tree it actually is. Let me see really quickly. Alrighty, here we go. I found it. So it is actually a maple autumn blaze 25 gallon. So we were able to dig that out with the mini X as you saw in the time lapse video right there. And it looks beautiful. We'll show you what it looks like from the front of the road. So if you come over here, we'll kind of give you an idea of what the house looks like with all of this. So stand back as far as you possibly can at the road there and look how beautiful this tree comes complements everything all those bushes i mean those wood beams you name it this house looks freaking phenomenal can't wait to literally get done with all this landscaping and finally move in here but anyways this time we will see you tomorrow morning all right y'all so we're back at the house and guess what the truck is loaded down with 75 bags of black mulch i ran to home depot got that and guess what my truck ain't got no suspension anymore zoom in on that real good right there I mean, literally got that thing squatted down, 75 bags. We're gonna see how much that actually covers up and then we'll go get some more if we need some more because we called around tons of people, seven different places I think, and everybody's like, yo, we're out of black mulch. Don't know what in the world is going on with black mulch. But anyways, we're not gonna talk too much. We're gonna get this mulch down because all this paper, all this fiber, whatever you wanna call it, fabric, that's what it is, keeps on flying around in the wind and we got a little bit more to finish up on the other side of the house and then we'll just get all this done and it's gonna look beautiful. Can't wait to get this mulch down, then finally get that saw down that's already called in and it's on the way. Let's get to work, baby. y'all so we actually ran out after the first pallet so this is about 75 bags had to run back to home depot 
get our second pallet and this should be fine to cover the left side of the house and then a little bit more in the front where we actually ran out at. So very excited to get this done. Man, this house is finally coming together. Very excited to see what it's gonna look like once we get everything complete. This is looking awesome. I'm happy, progress is key. We gotta keep working. Let's jump in the truck and get out of here. Alrighty y'all, so day two has come to a close. And let me tell you, I am dusty. I was basically just driving around in a big dust bowl, getting everything ready, getting all the topsoil moved around, getting everything feathered in so we didn't just have like huge fall offs on the side. But anyways, we got all the trees, we got all the bushes, we got all the flowers, everything has been watered, all the mulch is set in place. Now we are literally waiting on sod, which it is scheduled already, and hopefully it doesn't rain. It is calling for rain today, it's supposed to come, so hopefully it doesn't rain. And we'll actually jump on the other side of the truck here and show you how the outside of the house turned out. I think it's freaking beautiful. Um, and of course, everything working together here. I am very excited to be able to get this thing done, get everything knocked out. So as you come around here, you'll be able to see, we did go about four to six inches with the black mulch. I really wanna give it that pop so that we put the grass down and everything works together. So turn around this way, give them this entire shot all the way along, and then come this way with me right here. And I got all this topsoil feathered in as well, and I'll get it all raked out before the sod actually comes. I can finally work on some other things while we wait on that. So anyways, enough talking I'll see you when the sod gets here already also with all the landscaping being done right now we are prepping because the sod is getting delivered tomorrow so right now we're getting everything rigged back we've got the topsoil everywhere as much as possible that I brought in those two truckloads that we have my dad just flew in from Montana so we got a nice dust storm going on every now and then uh, basically the wind just starts blowing and it's nothing but dirt so guess what it's a dust storm um, and right now we got my dad working raking everything back um, he flew in, he was like, yo, yeah, heck yeah, I'll help out. And it's always nice to have an extra hand. Hopefully I can find one more person because we're bringing in 20 pallets of Bermuda, which is gonna get real. That's a full on day of like flying around, getting it laid, getting it cut, nice to the sidewalks, the driveway, everything. But we're gonna get some of this raked out, get it nice and flat, smoothed out, everything along the house and everything like that. And then we'll be able to lay the sod as soon as it's here in the morning, which we're gonna get an early start. They said they're gonna bring it by 8 a.m. But anyways, enough talking, we gotta get back to work.
Alrighty y'all, so it is a hot day today. Me and my dad are out here killing it, getting everything great. As you can see, we knocked out the other side of the house, the back of the house, and then if you look over here a little bit, you've been getting some shots of how all this has been turning out. We gotta rake back this one more side and we'll be done with this entire property and we'll be ready for sod tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And it's supposed to be hot tomorrow. You see, I'm parched. I keep, I keep doing that. Basically, we're gonna go do whatever we gotta do, get ready for tomorrow, get 20 pallets here, and we're gonna get straight to work. So anyways, let me keep sweating, let me keep working, y'all keep watching. Alrighty, y'all, top of the morning, we are ready to lay sod. So of course, we got the cooler out here, bought some ice, bought some Powerades. The sod man who brought everything, 20 pallets, is way in the cul-de-sac over there. We'll get all that situated, but right now we gotta fill this cooler up, because just in case someone decides they wanna pass out or something, we gotta have enough drinks and everything situated, get everybody right. And anyways, he's gonna unload the 20 pallets of sod, then we're gonna get straight to work. I got two helpers coming, um, actually, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five if they show up, so we'll see how that works out. It's always good not to expect the helpers to show up, but if they do, that's always a plus. So anyways, we're gonna get straight to work. I'm excited to see this thing transform. It's gonna go from freaking dirt to a beautiful, luscious yard with landscaping. That's amazing. So anyways, enough talking. Let's wait till they get this unloaded, then we're getting straight to it. All right, y'all, so as you can see right here, check this out, 20 pallets. He just got one of them taken over there, but I ordered it from Simsod Farm. So honestly, if you're ever in the Chattanooga area or like around North Georgia, give them a call. This ain't even no sponsorship video, but they are freaking awesome. We've been using them. My brother's been building for a really long time. We've been using Simsod Farm for probably like 10 to 12 years. Not even sure, but we've been laying their sod for a long freaking time. Great company and great customer service, first of all. But look at this, man, 20 pallets, man. Like this is a whole lot of Bermuda grass and I'm very excited to get all this laid the helper showed up early not even on time baby when you're on time you're late they showed up early we got this thing rolling he's getting all this stuff like all moved around and we're gonna get man, i got i got to go we got to get to work baby i'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit but right now we got to get to work So we are out here rolling, baby. The helpers came out. Everybody's out here moving and grooving. We already got three pallets knocked out. I'd say we'd be done in probably maybe 35, 40 minutes with the rest of the house. Just kidding. We got a full day out here. 20 total pallets. 
I mean, look how beautiful this looks already. Let's give them a shot kind of like of the side of the house and the landscaping right there. Really want y'all to see like this is going to be beautiful once we actually get this done. I can't wait to get it watered, kind of keep the sprinkler system on it. I don't have a sprinkler system or irrigation, so we'll just be walking around with the sprinklers, watering it, making sure that it really gets into that dirt. This is Bermuda, so it's gonna look amazing. And if there's any low spots or anything, all you gotta do is add sand. It's like a golf course, so basically, anybody who wants to play golf, you just come to my property, get a few swings in and keep it moving. But anyway, the helpers are doing awesome, doing an amazing job. My dad, myself, and Mr. Cameraman behind the camera right there. So we're just gonna keep it moving. It's getting hot, it's starting to heat up, baby. But hey, when it's hot in the kitchen, you gotta get to working harder. So anyways, enough talking, let's get straight back to work. Alrighty y'all, so we are literally killing it. When we did our first four pallets, we knocked that out in one literal hour. We got another helper here. So we got Cole, Dante, and Xander right now. Big shout out to Hickson High School, developing greatness and successful individuals, literally. I actually used to be a teacher there, so it's a high school business. And now I'm still utilizing the students. So anyways, my dad's out here killing it. Mr. Cameraman's killing it, jumping back and forth. And literally, show them this side, kind of pan this way. And then, so you got the whole side of the yard, then pan to the back here. Hall backyard's basically done all the way, let's say what, 25 feet past the deck. And I actually ordered 20, I only needed 16. I ordered 20 so that if we got extra, we're gonna go all the way to the back of that. I ain't gotta worry about planting no seeds or nothing like that. And we're gonna get all the way along the side. This is gonna be freaking beautiful. And we went with the stagger technique. That's how you wanna do uh, anytime you're doing sod. So if you look down, it's kinda like a brick pattern. So half and half, half and half. So that once the water's kinda getting it, and so, cause if it's all lined up and everything like that, then when you step on an accident, if you're trying to move sprinklers, then it kinda slides and everything. So when it's in that brick pattern, it helps lock in, stays more compact and it just looks darn good okay so anyways we're gonna finish up that side got four people running over there I'm the fifth got the fifth and a half behind the camera right now so we're gonna keep it moving baby hope you all enjoying this I'm loving how it looks let's get some more awesome shots hey baby work sleep repeat come on grab you some merch Nico's use code Nico for 10% off and all that good stuff I gotta go work Well, fellas, he's rolling, man. So we got it. How, how you feeling out here? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. The yard's looking pretty good to me. I, I mean, he's I, been out here for what, 30 minutes? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. feeling pretty good. How are y'all feeling? Get, no, look look at his hat. Yeah. You're not even sweating, dude. <laughs> yeah. We got Taylor Lautner over here off Twilight. <laughs> he's actually sweating. Maybe it's the long sleeve shirt. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Feeling good though? Feeling good. Feeling yeah, hydrated. Yeah, yeah. All right, finished. we're making progress. Look at his hat. Look at my hat. All right, let's get back to work, man. Let's do this. What are we, shooting a YouTube video or something?
right, y'all, so we're out here laying the sod. Got most of the front done. If you ever need to cut sod and you got a knife, it hurts the hand, man, okay? It hurts the back and everything. You're gonna say this might hurt your back. This is way easier, I promise you. Grab a saw, paint your line, watch this. Come here, come here. Check out this cut. Look at that, fresh. Fill in the little spots, and guess what? It's Nico's Puffer Show, baby. We're giving you all the tips you need. We're gonna finish this up. All the guys are here working hard. Here's some of the guys, man. So they know they ain't just lollygagging. That's how you earn good summer money. You see the muscles? Look at him flexing. You see the back of his shirt? Winning is contagious, all right? And when you got pops and leadership over here, he'll teach them real quick what not to do, how not to do it, and how to make it easier on the guy that's on the floor, all right? So we're gonna keep working, keep progressing, get this thing done. We might be done by lunchtime. We'll check back in. Work, sleep, repeat, come on, all the time. We're getting all this knocked out. All the landscaping, trees, bushes, mulch, sod. Get everything trimmed up out here. Wear safety glasses. Be safety first. Don't be like me. At least I have pants on today. I tried to do it with shorts on yesterday. Weed eating and stuff. Don't do that. The house looks beautiful. The sod looks beautiful. Safety first, baby. All right, we still gotta get under that deck. Get some, uh, what do we call it? Pine straw. Gotta get some fabric down, get some pine straw under there. You know, everybody loves having stuff under a deck. You just keep accumulating stuff. That will be, I believe, the final part of the landscaping until we get to um, being able to get the outside where the dumpster is. And let's just show them right now where the dumpster is right there, where the mini X is and the Bobcat. Once we get everything cleared out, get everything done, I'll be able to kind of rake everything back and I'll just be doing straw and seed right there. So I'll be laying down some grass seed, put some straw on it, wait for it to rain. In the summer, it's gonna grow really good. Add a few, a little bit of sand, add a little bit of sand where like the, the low spots are. This is Bermuda. So this is that golf course grass. And basically I'm very excited, very glad that those guys came out here, man. Freaking Dante, Cole, and Xander, got Paul, my dad, and myself out here, six guys, man. We did that literally from eight to three. We killed it, baby, with an hour lunch in there. So I'm very happy with it. I'll show you the front again. We'll do a quick walk around and then we'll get that pine straw done and we'll be done with the landscaping video and I'll tell you how much everything cost me because I'd wanna know if I was about to do my landscaping. So let me get back to work, do some more weed eating and we'll go from there.
Alrighty, so I have my receipt, and again, as I told you at the earlier part of the video, I got all these bushes, the flowers, and the maple tree from Black Fox Farms up in Cleveland, Tennessee. Um, great company, been using them for a really, really long time, and that total came out to $1,848. So all these bushes you see, the maple tree, all the bushes along the side here, and then the bushes that are alongside the house as well, and you can kind of skip back and through the video if you want to see exactly what it is that we actually bought. But like I said, that cost me $1,000. $1,848 and then that with that being said um, I had one helper out here and that cost me another let's say what 150 or something around there so you could say 2020 so with the landscaping as far as the bushes and everything we're right at about $2,500 in total because I don't count paying myself because I am earning sweat equity in this and one day it'll all pay off and then we're gonna move on to the sod and I just want to give you one last view of how everything looks through here so you can see from the beginning of the road all the way to the back deck and then let's go to the side here real quick as well just so you kind of have that visual of what I'm paying for everything you can see all the way from the driveway all the way to my neighbor's yard and through the back all the way to that big old pine tree right there and so basically that came out to all the sod 20 pallets of it three thousand six hundred twenty eight dollars and eighty cents i had some helpers out here got everybody paid so i'd say we are at four thousand one hundred dollars for the sod and it being laid out and everything like that so material and labor right there is about four thousand one hundred plus that twenty two hundred six thousand and then the topsoil was another thousand dollars so where are we at we're at forty two twenty two that's sixty four 74 i'd say at about eight thousand dollars comfortably because there's been some things we had to buy like the mulch and everything which cost me another 500 bucks so yeah i'm right at about eight thousand dollars for this entire landscaping and if you ever want to get into construction do a better job at like actually having a spreadsheet and everything don't just try to do it off the top of your head but i am at about eight thousand dollars for the sod the mulch the bushes the tree you name it the topsoil and i'm very happy with that because it really brought this house together but anyways i think it's time to end out this video i really do want to know what y'all think about how this turned out i think it looks freaking beautiful so i hope you enjoyed this video because i sure did enjoy doing all the landscaping but regardless if you did enjoy it please make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms but make sure you head over to instagram and follow me on there so you can get some behind the scenes sneak peek stuff if you haven't yet check out nico's property show.com grab you some merch maybe a hat a hoodie a t-shirt we got a new exclusive summer launch that just dropped grab you some make sure you use code nico for 10 percent off your entire order and without further ado smile more worry less and stay blessed i'll see you in the next video can't wait to finally live here peace out